welcome guys hope you're doing well uh, welcome in the next video so in this video we are going to build something special so now let me present so this is the output that we will be able to implement at the end of the video uh, when I click for a destination and search for New York or other city okay and let's select this one and this is what we will be implementing by end of the video so basically the selected location has been uh, marked with the red marker and when you click on this marker it also shows that destination and then uh, it's showing the location okay uh, same is going to be implemented from the from location and let's search for address At that time let's uh, search for something new uh, maybe this one and yeah camera has been animated and also marker has been placed on the source location so let me click on it and it is showing source okay guys so this this is what we will be implementing in the video here in the android studio so basically you have to install plugin uh, you just open your pubstruct.ml file and install geocoding plugin right after doing this uh, make sure you open the build.gridle file the app version and make it minimum of 32 okay compile sdk version to 32 after doing this you are ready to go so basically this is the coding or this is the home dot dot screen that we have already created what i did is basically i have created two variables of latitude and longitude okay one is for the destination and another is for source uh, also i have created a set of markers where uh, all the markers that we will be showing on the map will be stored on this set next thing that you guys have to do is you just assign this marker set to your google map widget and this is all we have to do now what comes next when user is going to search for a text field so for this we have already created this function in the last video show google auto complete and we have this for two fields one is for the destination and one is for the select uh, source so let's first of all check it for the destination uh, as you guys can see uh, this is what i have wrote in the last video but i have also did some coding in order to save some of your time so what i did is basically uh, created a location list that is basically coming from the geocoding library that we have recently installed and what this geocoding is it is basically alias to this geocoding library let's commit to it again yeah so basically uh, location exists in different packages so that is why i have uh, i have mentioned it with alias and we have this function from the geocoding library location from address and we select our selected place to this function and then it returns us a list of location uh, after getting location what we do we just create a latitude and longitude object from the return location and as it is a list so what i'm doing is i'm getting the first instance from the list and i'm getting the latitude so i'm doing same for the longitude as well so now we got uh, address we got translated our address into location we also did conversion from uh, location to the latitude and longitude now the next thing we have to do is basically add this location on the map and also add marker so you guys can see we have this marker uh, object or list that we have created above that contains uh, add function so we have to add marker object to it if i can show you uh, it accepts marker okay uh, what i'm doing is i'm adding a marker with a unique marker id and info window that contains a source and the place that we got from the drop down 
also I'm going to provide the source location over here okay guys and next thing that I'm doing is the controller that I have created in the previous video that represent Google map controller and I'm using help of this controller in order to update the location in the map animate camera is the useful function that basically uh, update the location or view of the map uh, it accepts camera update now what I did is I have provided new camera position with a camera position as source of uh, as a target okay guys so this is what uh, this is all we have to do in order to implement the uh, video that I have shown you so let's do it once again so I have cl clicked on the search field so what happened is if I able to show you here we have search for destination as we click on this uh, this Google autocomplete function has been called and we are seeing this Google autocomplete so now let's search for something like New York and when I click on this what happens this function will return me the New York as a string and then I assign this string to the uh, destination controller and I got a uh, location from address this basically returned me a location object uh, in form of list and then I uh, extracted the destination added marker on the destination and I have updated the camera position so now let's see one again clicked all the backend stuff is implemented and now camera has been updated uh, thank you guys for watching the video uh, I hope you guys understand if you have any problem please comment and also please subscribe my channel